Marie and today I'm back with another collaboration video. This collaboration video is an affordable prom look with Christina Rose and Adeline and I will be linking both of their channels in the bottom bar below as well as annotating them throughout this entire video so just go ahead and click on the screen right now if you want to see who I'm talking about. I met both Adeline and Christina through the Beauty Smarty Showdown. They both have amazing videos. They're both super creative. They give great beauty tips fashion tips, makeup tips, and all kinds of things. These are some of my two absolute favorite YouTubers, so I think you guys will really like them. So click the screen now to go check their channels out, or you can find them in the description box below. The collaboration video that we decided to do was an affordable prom look because it is prom season, and I'm really proud to say that nearly every single one of these products are drugstore products. So this is basically something that's really accessible to everyone and very easy to find at any drugstore. Seeing as this is an affordable prom look, I just wanted to give a few quick tips if you are going to prom on a budget. First of all, when you're looking for a dress, you also have to consider that you have to get shoes with the dress, potentially jewelry with the dress, and you also may have to get the dress altered if it doesn't fit you. I think a lot of people forget that you have to consider all of those things. I had to get my dress altered. My sister's cost $60, mine cost $30, and it's just not really something that you think about when you're getting your dress however much it is. Also, I wanted to mention that the dress that I'm using in this video is not actually my prom dress. I'm going to be showing you guys that later because I want to make it in a separate video because it's kind of unrelated. You may also be wondering why I'm sitting in front of a bunch of balloons, and I actually tell you guys why in a future video that's going to be posted really soon, so stay tuned. This is actually the first of three videos that I'm doing, so I'm starting this little prom series. And that's all I have to say for now, so I hope you guys enjoy this prom makeup look, and let me know if you guys found it helpful in the comments below. So to give you guys an idea of the color scheme I'm going for in this tutorial, here is my prom dress. And this dress is from Nordstrom.com. This is a super pretty short strapless dress in tan by Adriana Papel and it was $158. The first thing that I'm going to do is wash my face. So here I'm just putting my hair up into a ponytail and then using this homemade headband to keep my hair back from the water. I'm using my Clarisonic to deep clean my face to really get off all of the makeup and dirt so that I can start with a clean, fresh face for new makeup. And now I'm just going to use these Neutrogena makeup wipes and remove all of the darkness around my eyes left over from eyeliner and mascara. And then I'm going to moisturize my entire face using this Clinique Moisturizing Face Lotion. Next I'm going to be painting my own nails. The color that I chose to paint my nails is this pretty tannish gold color called Fast Track by China Glaze. And a really good tip for saving money and not going to go get your nails done is to just have a girls night the night before prom and just do each other's nails. Um, my sister did not want to have a girls night with me so I am just doing them by myself. And I'm just going to fast forward all of these clips from doing my nails because I don't want to take up too much time just doing my nails. But if you guys want to know a uh, typical nail routine, just leave a comment below and I will make a video on how I do my nails. For a smooth and even application and to ensure that my makeup is going to last all night long, I'm using my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. For my foundation, I definitely wanted something that was long lasting, so I chose this 24 hour Revlon Color Stay. Revlon also has a photo ready foundation, which is actually what I recommend because it doesn't have any SPF in it, and on prom night you're going to be taking a lot of photos, and SPF does not do as well in flash photography. Next I use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to conceal my under eye circles, any pimples and blemishes that I have, and any redness. Now I'm using my Revlon Photo Ready Pressed Powder in order to set all of my makeup and it was surprisingly hard to open. And I applied this to my T-zone to make sure that my face was shine free for pictures. Next I used the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer and this was surprisingly easy to open compared to the other one and I just used this by applying it to the hollows of my cheekbones and also of my forehead and then just blending it in with a big fluffy brush. And here I'm using my favorite chapstick to moisturize my lips in preparation for the lipstick I'm applying later. 
And as always, before applying any eyeshadows, just be sure to prime your eyes, especially for this look. And I'm just using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. For my eyeshadow, I used this Maybelline palette in Taupe Temptress. The first thing that I did was apply this shimmery white color all over my lid. And then I used the third purplish grayish color in the palette and applied this right above my crease line in order to create that fake crease. Next I'm using my color tattoo in Barely Branded in order to create a base for the inner corner highlight and then I'm just applying the white shimmery eyeshadow over that. So the final step of this makeup look is to take the darkest color and apply that to the fake outer V that you created with the fake crease, if you created a fake crease. And this step just basically requires a lot of blending and reapplying of the color. When I'm blending out a really dramatic look like this, I like to use a bunch of different blending brushes so you'll be able to tell that I'm switching three different blending brushes. And the main thing you want to look out for is just to try to make both sides as identical as possible. And when you're completely satisfied with your blending, just take the white shimmery color again and apply that to the brow bone as a highlight. Next, I'm using a pencil brush to apply the three colors in the first, middle, and outer part of my lower lash line, going from light to dark. For me, false lashes are an absolute must for this look. False lashes dramatize the entire look, and plus, they can really make any eye makeup look great in pictures. After the lash glue dries, you can curl your lashes and then apply generous coats of your favorite volumizing mascara. So to avoid any mascara leakage throughout the night, I applied this waterproof mascara on the lower lash line. Using this cool eyebrow pencil, I just filled in my eyebrows so that there were no visible sparse areas. To finish off the entire look, just use your favorite lip gloss for some shine on your lips. And just be sure to stay away from any dramatic colors because the eyes are really the focal point of this look. The next step is optional of course, but I just decided to add a tiny tiny winged liner just to make the false lashes look a little bit more natural. So now that the makeup is complete, I'm going to move on to my hair. The hairstyle that I was going for was kind of like a messy but very cute look, and I think that I achieved this pretty well. After brushing out my hair, I put it all to one side of my head and then I made a part where I wanted it to be. Then I just used this hairband to keep all of my hair in a ponytail while I started my fishtail braid. And using a hairband while fishtail braiding makes the process so much easier and if you're going for a messy look like I was, it's really easy to just take it off afterwards and it'll still look good. Next I pulled out some hair in the front to give the hairstyle that messy look that I was going for and also to curl later. So here I just wanted my fishtail braid to look like it started higher up than it actually did, so I just slipped it inwards, which actually gave the exact same effect as a fishtail braid without actually being a fishtail braid. And then to pull the entire look together and give it a little bit of elegance, I curled the front parts of my hair away from my face. Watching. Be sure to stay tuned for my next two prom videos that are coming out for this little prom series, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!